Please stand. Good morning. Welcome to the New Horizons High School graduation class of 2019. Would you please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Would you please remain standing for our national anthem led by our teachers, Ms. Henry and Mr. Williams. So proudly we held at the twilight's last gleaming. Whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight. For the ramparts we watch were so gallantly streaming. And the rocket's red glare the bombs were singing air gave proof through the night that a flag was still there. Oh, say does that star spangle banner yet Now we'll have Destiny Collier come and give us our invocation. Good morning. Can I please have y'all bow y'all heads? Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for letting us be here today. Thank y'all for letting us be here today. Parents, parents, parents guardians. We thank you for everything. We thank done. you for everything that you have done for us. For us, 
we pray, Lord, for you to watch over us. We pray, Lord, that for you to watch over us. Every day and from this day forward. Every day and from this day forward. Amen. Amen. It is a beautiful morning, and you may be seated. Thank you. It is a beautiful morning for the 2019 New Horizons High School graduation ceremony. We are blessed to celebrate such a special day with our young men and women. I would like to acknowledge the Greenville ISD Board of Trustees, President John Kelso, Dr. Kim Butcher, Miss Ann Hayes, Mr. Roger Livingston, Miss Trina Stafford, and Miss Tish Woodard. Thank you for your dedication and support for all GISD children. I'd also like to induce introduce our superintendent, Dr. Demetrius Liggins. I would like to acknowledge our counselor, Audrey Garrison, our assistant principal, Naomi Gilbert, members of the New Horizons Advisory Board, and our faculty and staff at New Horizons High School. Thank you for preparing our students for this very important day. At this time, I would like to recognize our students that have chosen to join the armed forces and any member of the audience that is serving or has served in the military, would you please stand and be recognized? Thank you for your service to our country and defending our freedoms. To the class of 2019, you are a very special class. We watched you grow into young men and women with exceptional talent. Your positive contributions have set this campus apart. It is very difficult to say our farewells. Go forward follow your dreams, and live a happy and fulfilling life. Remember to thank those who helped guide your path. Move among those who are uplifting, those who encourage, and those who have belief in you. May God watch over you and protect you. We wish you the very best. At this time, I would like to invite Ms. Garrison to the podium for the presentation of scholarships. It is our honor to have the family of Yvonne Pinnell here with us today. They have graciously donated funds in his sister's honor, Yvonne Pinnell, who taught in the district for 21 years. We have two scholarships to present today in Miss Yvonne Pinnell's name. The first scholarship for $500 is awarded to Ella Hawkins. Congratulations, Ella. The second scholarship for $1,000 is awarded to Jocelyn Martinez.
Congratulations, Jocelyn. At this time, I would like to introduce Dr. Liggins, Superintendent of Greenville ISD. Well, good morning, everyone. Uh, Ms. Gossett asked me to give the keynote this morning, but I think she really was more interested in me speaking Spanish than anything else I really had to say. <laughs> and so um, I will do my welcome in Spanish um, to satisfy that requirement, and then I will uh, move on and talk a little bit to our graduates. A los padres de los estudiantes que están aquí ahorita, um, felicitaciones. Este día es, es un día muy importante. Es un día que ustedes van a terminar de la escuela, pero van a empezar con su vida. Necesita siempre entender que en Dios tiene que tener fe y también recuerda que siempre necesita a sus padres y su familia para estar muy bien. Gracias y bienvenidos a todos. When I was thinking about what I was going to talk about today, I um, immediately went to um, the day when I graduated high school and the day when um, some of the advice that helped me along my life and immediately took me back to lessons from my grandmother. Uh, if anyone knows me, uh, they know that my grandmother was, I called her funly my favorite person in the whole wide world, but she was the most influential person in my life. Um, and she died this past January, so it, it's um, extra special that I would acknowledge the words that she shared with me throughout, these, throughout my life and throughout these years up until her dying day just a few months ago. Um, you see, my grandmother was, in all honesty, the sweetest lady I've ever known, um, but one of the wisest, and actually one of the smartest. She was a great granddaughter of a slave. She uh, was a sharecropper as a child, had a ninth grade education, and was a domestic, which is commonly known now as a housekeeper or maid throughout her, um, throughout her career. Um, but she was extremely intelligent, and she, and she, she was one that would always give wisdom and make sure that you are always understanding what, what was expected of you. So I've thought of 10 things that I'd like to share with you all today, if you don't mind, it'll be fairly quick, that lessons I think would be very valuable to a young graduate. The first one that she taught me was believe in something bigger than yourself. Greater than that you know, and basically that was believe in God, Whatever you may believe that to be, I personally believe he's our creator and he sent his son, Jesus, to die on the cross for our sins. But whatever you believe God to be, believe in something larger than yourself and learn to trust in that entity and pray to him or her or whatever you believe it to be constantly. Uh, also, you're gonna mess up. You're gonna make a lot of mistakes. That's life. You're not going to get through this life um, in the short life you've lived already. I'm sure a lot of you can count the many mistakes you've made. It doesn't end now just because you're getting a high school diploma. But learn from those mistakes and realize that they can only make you better. Don't let them bring you down. Keep your mind active is number three. Always learn something new. My grandma was 88 when she died, and she was, she could talk to you about Facebook and Twitter and, I mean, and everything. And so, always keep your mind sharp, and um, always learn something new, and always continue to read. Um, f number four is find adventure, find love, and find genuine connections. We don't live in this world alone, so make sure that you're you find people that you care about and that care about you and let them know it and show them that. Number five was don't compare yourself to others. Two things will happen when you compare yourself to others. 
either you'll become jealous and bitter or you'll become pompous and arrogant. And neither are good. Fact of the matter is we're all on our own individual journeys. And there's no one better than you, nor are you better than anyone else. She's really big on reputation. She would always say, keep your reputation positively, positive. Uh, it's really all you have in the end. So um, you can't stop people from talking. She would say this to my sisters and um, my female cousins a lot because that's kind of a female thing. They're talking about me. You can't stop people from talking about you. But if they're speaking negatively, she said, make it, if it's negative, let it be their opinion and not fact. Number seven was find your purpose in life. And a lot of times when people think of their purpose, they think, you know, I'm, I'm going to be president or I'm going to cure cancer. And those are great things if, if, if you can reach those. But not everyone's purpose is your career necessarily. Not everyone's purpose is staring you in the face all the time. My grandma's purpose was raising her children and instilling a trust in God and a generation and generations to come. Um, so find what your purpose is and it'll make life so much more enjoyable. Uh, number eight was respect your elders. We we're really big when I grew up about an hour and a half from here in, in Longview, so Southern Roots really big with respecting your elders. I mean, yes sir, no sir. When elders tell you whatever they tell you, because you know they speak their minds, listen. It's usually from a good place, and although you may not understand it, one day you will, and you'll appreciate the advice. Um, be a man or woman of your word. If you say it, do it. If you end up not being able to do it, say that also. And finally, laughter really is the best medicine. In this life, there's going to be lots of moments where you go on and you're going to find challenges, you're going to experience loss, you're going to have all kinds of ups and downs. If you remember, first of all, to laugh at yourself, that's a great first start. But then find the comedy in life in general. Because most of the things that we stress out about, worry about, years later we, went, we look back, we kind of laugh that it happened, and remember the lessons we learned from it. So with that, I would like to say to each of you, I wish you the very best and brightest future that you can even imagine for yourself. Never stop learning and never forget where you come from and always give back. Thank you very much. Dr. Liggins, and members of the Greenville Independent School District Board of Certifies, I hereby certify that the following candidates have completed all requirements for graduation from New Horizons High School as prescribed by the Texas Education Agency and the Greenville Independent School District and are therefore certified for graduation. Ms. Garrison, let's graduate these students.
Mia Bernice Aguilar plans on attending college in Mexico to study international business. She would like to thank her family and close friends. Mia Bernice Aguilar. Genesis Faith Campbell is graduating with a distinguished level of achievement. She plans on starting college in the fall. She would like to thank Miss Jackie and her parents. Genesis Faith Campbell. Destiny Brichet Collier is setting goals for her future to become a vet or nurse. She would like to thank her teachers and mother. Destiny Brichet Collier. Rebecca Colleen Cooper plans to work and attend classes at TCC to become an assistant nurse. She would like to thank her mother, niece, and nephew. Rebecca Colleen Cooper. Monica Elizabeth Emmons is planning on attending a four-year university to earn a nursing degree in pediatrics. She would like to thank her family and all her teachers for never giving up. Annika Elizabeth Emmons. Abel Manuel Gonzalez plans on going to Lineman School to learn about underground piping. Abel would like to thank his family. Abel Manuel Gonzalez. Ella Mae Hawkins is graduating with a distinguished level of achievement. She was also a member of the Student Advisory Board. She plans on joining the Navy and attending Texas A&M Commerce to study criminal justice. Ella would like to thank Ms. M. Edwards for pushing her to do her best, Ms. Gossett for reminding her that she is a leader, and her parents for always believing in her. Ella Mae Hawkins. Madison Michelle Hibden plans on working full time. She would like to thank her friends and family. Madison Michelle Hibden. Bailey Hope Holloway plans on attending a junior college to get her basics before going to a four-year university to become a youth minister. She would like to thank, to thank the Faverings, the Roses, and her sister, Destiny Dunman. Bailey Hope Holloway.
Tyrone Dean Hoskins plans on getting a job helping others. He would like to thank Ms. S. Edwards and Mr. Summerall for all the help in leading to his accomplishments. Tyrone Dean Hoskins. Romeo Jenkins plans on joining the Marines this fall and to serve as a Marine security guard. He would like to thank his mother, sister Tina, brother-in-law George, New Horizon staff, Staff Sergeant Williams, Greenville Fire Department staff, and his brother Adam. Romeo Jenkins. <laughs> Brendan Jones is currently working at PPF Farmhand and plans to continue working. He would like to thank his family, Mr. Crosley and Miss Jackie for their support with getting his diploma. Crew London Jones. Justin Michael King plans to attend Mansfield College to pursue his dream of becoming a corporate lawyer. He would like to thank his mother for being the push of a strong human being and his younger brother for being his undying drive. Justin Michael King. Christina Michelle Lay plans on attending junior college to study psychology. She would like to thank her father, stepmother, and friends who have supported her throughout the year. Christina Michelle Lay. Zachariah D. Lewis plans on attending a community college for business or writing. He would like to thank his mother and caring friends. Zachariah D. Lewis. Jocelyn Martinez plans on going to college to study psychology. She would like to thank her sister Jennifer for always being there for her and her parents and sisters for their support even though they were not here with her. Jocelyn Martinez. Dana Jocelyn Martinez is graduating with a distinguished level of achievement. She plans on attending Texas A&M University Commerce. She would like to thank her mother for pushing her to be the best me I can be. Jocelyn, Dana Jocelyn Martinez. Natalie Montserrat Martinez currently works at Greenville Health and Rehab Center and plans on attending PJC to study political science. She would like to thank her mother, grandparents, and teachers. Natalie Montserrat Martinez.
Jordan Nadine Preston plans to go to college and work in the medical field. She thanks her mother for pushing her past her limits. She also wants to thank Miss Jackie, Miss M. Edwards, Miss Garrison, and lastly, Miss Gossett, for without them, she doesn't think she would have made it. Jordan Nadine Preston. Emily Faith Price plans on attending cosmetology school to become a hairstylist and makeup artist. She would like to thank her mother, stepdad, and all of her siblings. Emily Faith Price. Zachary James Russell plans on working and going to college. He would like to thank his mother, Zachary James Russell. Pedro Secondino currently works with his brother and plans to attend a tech program at PJC. Pedro would like to thank all of the teachers who helped him finish school. Pedro Secondino. Noe Alejandro Torres del Toro would like to join the Air Force and plans on becoming a businessman in the construction industry. He would like to thank his teachers and friends that helped him get through school. They are now like family to him. Noe Alejandro Torres del Toro. Jodice Love Zamudio is graduating with a distinguished level of achievement. She has joined the United States Army and will ship out in June. She plans on attending college to become a police officer while enlisted. Jodice would like to thank her mom for getting her through so much more than just school, for being her rock and inspiration. Jodice Love Zamudio. <laughs> At this time, I would like to invite Jodice Zamudio to the podium to lead the graduates in the symbol of graduation. Will the class of 2019 please stand? Will you please join me in the turning of our tassels as a symbol of our graduation? Graduates, please remain standing. I would like to let everyone know how we're going to proceed at this point. There is a very important tradition at New Horizons High School, and it's called Ringing of the Bell. And we have this large bell, and if you've never heard it ring, it is something else. So, 
the bell will ring for each one of our graduates. So this is how, yes, this is how it's gonna work. We're going to have the recessional and they will march out and they'll go through this door and they'll line up here. Mr. Williams will ring the bell for each student. So if you'll still remain seated, then the graduates will come back through here and Miss Ella May Hawkins will lead them in tossing of the hats and they are graduated. So. Let's go. Family, family and friends, please stay as long as you like to visit with your students and your family. Thank you for coming. This video has been brought to you by Juice34. Juice is your community-owned provider for electric, internet, cable TV, and true local programming.